Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Learn and Earn, myself Dayanand. Well, first of all, I would like to apologize for making you guys wait for almost a month and not having any videos posted onto my channel. Uh, I know you guys were waiting for me for my Excel videos and, uh, and my online earning tips. I had received multiple comments and messages asking me to uh, start making videos on. So nothing much, I was busy uh, constructing my new home. Yep, this is my new home. Uh, so quite busy with this construction, housewarming ceremony, shifting my uh, uh, from old property to the new property and doing some gardening work and etc. Yeah. Well, uh, not to waste much time, let me come back to you, uh, come back and then continue with where we left with our Excel VBA 2016. We have successfully completed video number 15. So we're going to continue with uh, part 16 of Excel VBA 2016, a beginners to advanced in 30 days guaranteed. Okay. Uh, today, what I'm going to show you, I'll show you a quick demo here and something a form which will look like this form with a logo with the help button and some field where manual user can enter uh, let me show you a quick example so i'm typing the unique identification number uid and press go the data automatically retrieves from nowhere you see the subject line priority and source automatically filled in let me try some other yeah you could see this data changing so I'll show you how this data being populated onto the user form from Excel. Excel can be the same workbook or it can be somewhere in the remote location on a server. And this form, uh, this video I'm going to, uh, this example I'm going to make in two videos. First video I'll show you the first half of the form where retrieving the data. And in the second video I'll show you the second half of the form where we post or storing the data here retrieval here storage and before we continue if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and as i always tell you please do share it with your friends on whatsapp or facebook wall or wherever possible word of mouth can definitely help to get more people on the board together we can learn and earn okay let's get started now what makes this excel this form this is called a user form the one which i you see this you already know this is a user form what makes this work so efficiently is something called as programming language so this is vba visual basics for applications in excel you could see the the programming written for that excel to function and this is made just for the video so to show you guys with a good example i've got some raw data to present here now don't worry about the coding i know it is boring section but i will teach you slowly get the concept get the basic knowledge and then you can execute on your own you can write your own programming without any problem any issues you can always comment or you can google is always there you can search and then get your solutions online as well i'm always there you can ping me on my youtube comment section i'm happy to assist you with that okay okay now i will show you where exactly the data coming from so i mean uh, suppose say when i put this U uid and click on go these informations are automatically populated from source data i think my database let me show it to you i have a hidden sheet here right click and hide a sheet called source to make it easy for you guys, I have kept the database in the same file, but this file, this information can stay anywhere across the network. It can be in some other folder or it can be even out of the, uh, net, uh, in the same shared drive. If you're working in a company, you know what a shared drive is. So it should be in the same network. Simple. Okay. Now, these are the data, UID, date, the subject line, priority, mailbox. Now, I'll show you a real-time example. Let me say I'll put this 100168, 100168 and click on go. You could see the subject line, same as what is there in the subject line, new POs for Toronto, priority says to, to an outlook where the source is from. So this is how the data being pulled from this file. So I'm going to teach you how do we do this through programming. 
and this will be interesting and learning okay and please do watch the video in full till the end so you don't miss out any small small stuffs in between okay now coming on to user form designing now till here you know how to insert a user form if you do not know please do watch my other video earlier videos now user form designing is very simple I have not done anything much I have a, an image here and I have saved uh, this is the picture where you can update any image from your computer that will come and show here this is the user form these are labels you all have seen the toolbox already so these are labels priority I've given the labels and these are text fields one two three and these are buttons two buttons and this is a combo box okay so you just need to design it similarly just copy uh, a drag and drop so you need a text box just drag and drop it here arrange how big you want how small you want it's up to you and as a label can also be drag and drop dropped here on the user form okay now what really makes it work is the coding coding can be assigned to the button directly by double clicking on that button say for example if I want would like to code this uh, go I can just simply double click on this button and start typing this is the coding written for the box go which is highlighted in blue now okay uh, I'll quickly explain what is all I have declared here so these are the variables I'm going to use in this file in this programming so dim result is one variable assigned is variable unique identification number which is always a number so I'm keeping it as double UID the same as what we get here this this column okay and then row number I'll tell you why I need this first thing the flow of the program user types the value into the box and clicks on go now I'm using a temporary uh, I'm using a variable where I capture this UID text box dot value what is UID text box dot value is this you can see the name of the text box UID txt box dot value is nothing but what is being typed in this one this I'll save it in a I'm storing it in UID variable okay the one thing is done now th this is optional you don't need to keep it open so I can you can disable it no problem set X I'm using another X variable as range I'm defining the range is worksheets which is a sheet called source and range is A to K that is worksheet which is called source and from where to where from A to K I've just used a longer range for my benefit because I'm going to put some more data in near future okay a to k a to k or you can choose the range whatever the range of data you have in your file okay now this is where the programming actually run first thing we will calculate we will see will there be any error when they when the user types the number say for example I'll say so he types something which is not in the database it must give an error saying invalid UID or data not found give another try right only if he tries with the right number it must be able to retrieve the data so this must be caught is simply called as a uh, catching error okay now what am I doing even if you don't do it also you should still be able to run the program not a problem okay so what it tells here I am capturing one more information here result application which is Excel application worksheet function called VLOOKUP I'm going to use VLOOKUP for this user ID supplied by the user and looking at the range which is this and under the third column and see if any data found okay which means the range is this from A to K the third column is this is there a data present for the value supplied if is yes, then nothing to worry if the error number is zero which means no error everything is fine then our Excel will simply continue it will print it will paste whatever data retrieved in the subject line box what is subject line box I'll show you that this is the subject line box 
I'm keeping it as sublime box. This is name has been altered. You can change the name. Okay. Now, where was we? Yeah, here we are. And also, automatic text message shows up saying auto copied. Auto copied, it helps. You don't have to copy that subject line again. So, just for the user's sake of information, I'm keeping it. So, it says auto copied. This was nowhere. Now it has come here. That is through coding again. But if there is an error, if there is an error, I mean, if nothing being found for the value supplied in the VLOOKUP function, then it should display a message box invalid uid or data not found give another try you can type anything here it just comes up there and this is not required i'm deleting that line okay and this will clean the user form and sets it back to the original now what happens if i don't do the cleaning of this form what happens i'll show you look at this one zero zero something i've typed here and say okay and this is incorrect if I don't clean the user form, the data will still be there in the file, in the text box. Instead, if I call clean user form, I have written the coding for clean user form, which I'll show you. Where is it? Here it is. Clean user form, a clean form. It is setting all the text box values to null, zero, 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 none, null, okay? So when I call it, then the difference is this. Moment, you presses this and data goes deleted and comes back into initial stage you must pay attention to these small small factors to become a very good programmer okay now simple or what we have done we have looked through the view we look up from the database or the raw source data and found if there is a value supply that value to the subject line subject line box if it is not found throw an error saying it is invalid UID or data not found. And then two other information I'm going to capture here. One is the priority field, other one is source field, which are here, the priority and the source. Okay. Priority, same workbook function, worksheet function, we look up, but I'm just changing the column number four because the priority is saved on number four, fourth column, one, two, three, four, fourth column. And source is the mailbox source, where it is coming from. This will be fifth column. So you can see source, fifth column. So you must remember, I already taught you about VLOOKUP in the previous video, so you shouldn't be having any confusion now. If you have confusion, all you have to do, go back and watch and come back and resume it from here. Okay, get the values into this variable and pass this variable on to the, the text box. That is priority text box and then source text box. Okay. And finally, th this is not required. Okay. That's it. That is the end of the work of go button. Which is the button? Go button. One uh, running complete example, 100179. I press go. I see 100179 right here. And this is the subject line, which is correct. And priority is two, that is also correct. And outlook is the source, it is correct. And you do not have to show this file to the user. This can be simply hidden in the background or it can be somewhere outside in the remote. Well, that's all. What are you waiting for? You, you just need to open your Excel, start, start implementing whatever you learned today okay anywhere you, i'm sure that you will definitely be stuck in between because you may be a beginner so do not hesitate to contact me on that so I'll, i'm happy to help you with that okay so together we can learn and earn uh, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and share it on to uh, facebook or whatsapp and your friends circle and yes have a great day happy learning all is well